Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, my name still remains Mrs. Evangelist Egoman. In case today is your first time of coming across this video clip, I'm based in a city called Verona here in Italy. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a platform where we hear the word of God. Remember, the word of God is here. Amen. The Bible says that when you stick to the word, when you stick to the word of God, you always come out with a testimony. In other words, when you use the word of God to be living in your daily activities, that is why the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Let us continue to use the word of God to live in our daily activities in every ramifications of our individual lives. And as we do, we will continue to see the glory of God. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Before we go for the word of God, let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the great I am that I am, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscient God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, once again, we thank you for making us to come in your presence once again and to give your word to your children that are watching me right now or to watch me later or years to come. My Lord and my Savior, I surrender to you. I say, breathe on your word. Use your word. Empty me. Don't allow me to use the worldly words to speak to your children that are watching me right now. Let this word that you are going to use me speak to them. Let me break yokes out of their individual lives. Let me transform them. Let it make them to, you know, be moored with your word and use it also to win souls and disciples to your home, house in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of destruction, devour, I bind them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I say, take all the glory, take all the adoration, for in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed, amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, I want to deliberate on the word of God, which I titled, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I came up with such an exhortation today because many of my brethren, we call ourselves child of God, but yet we are still murmuring. Yet we are still nagging. We have issues like emotional issues, like marital issues, health issues, psychological issues, financial issues. Even we who said we are believers, we still have many issues from our church. Amen. But I want to tell you that God says, remember me for those things I say concerning you. Are you a child of God? When you are a child of God, it is, it is hallelujah you will be singing. Christ in you is the hope of your glory. Beloved brothers and sisters, I've come to let you know as a child of God, don't let all these issues that I quoted, I've just quoted, you know, rule you. Hallelujah, somebody. You are a child of God. The Bible says, is there anything too hard for my God? With men, it might be impossible. But with God, all things are possible to them that believe. Praise Master Jesus, somebody. I came here once again to stir up your spirits. I don't know what you are passing through. Even me that is giving you the word, I'm not free. We all have different problems. As our faces are different, so our issues are different. So why carry the matter on your head? Why not take it to God in prayer and supplications? Hallelujah. God can never forget you. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, it says that a woman can give birth to a child. Sometimes some are lucky the child will die and they will forget. Some of them, their child is alive. They are not after their children, taking care of their children. As we have a wise woman, according to the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1, that a wise woman built at her home, we still have the foolish ones. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'm here once again. To come and stir up your spirit with this little word of exhortation. If you are a child of God, you need to be singing hallelujah. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still 
I know that I am God. Beloved brothers and sisters, the word of God is here. Amen. Heaven and earth will pass away. The word of God still remain the same. If you are a child of God, have faith in God. Have faith in the word of God. You will see the glory of God. God changed not. The Bible says in the book of, I think, mm-hmm. Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 12. It says, there is no any other name under heaven. We men can be saved apart from the name of the Lord. Have faith in God. Don't be waved. Focus on God. I will give you some of the characters in the Bible that God remember. Hallelujah. Hannah. I mean, let me go first to, to Sarah in the book of Genesis 21:1. Hallelujah. When God was about to remember Sarah and Abraham, the Bible said it was during the time the angels of the Lord they passed through the desert, they want to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of the good deed of Abraham, God sent his angels to pass through the desert. And that was when the message was released to them that by this time next year, you will carry your a baby. Carry your baby. Praise Master Jesus. I don't know who is listening to the sound of my voice right now. What are you expecting? The expectation of the righteous can never be cut off. We also remember that man in the book of Acts of Apostles. Chapter 3, who was a crippled, he was there for more than 30 years. But that very faithful day, the Lord remembered him through his servants. Amen. And he saw himself standing on his feet and he started walking. Amen. Can your all be different? What is that issue that is bothering you? What is that pain you are going through? Don't bring the power of God down. Don't make the word of God a non-issue like John the Baptist when he was arrested by, you know, King Herod. With anger, he sent his disciples to go and meet Jesus to ask him, are you not the Messiah or are we to wait for another one? Beloved brothers and sisters, let us not be nagging. Hallelujah, somebody. The power of God still made the same. He changed not. Try the power. Have faith in God. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hannah, we have so many characters in the Bible. I wrote many things here. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. We have somebody like David. King David was remembered. If you see the psalmist of David, he praises the Lord. He wrote so many passages. Concerning the goodness of the Lord. We need to have fear for God. And have fear for the principles of God. Let us not live our lives as a child of God. Outside the principles of God. That is where you will see negative. When you are praying. Many of us are praying anyway. The prayer is not hitting the ceiling. But the book of Isaiah says. If really you believe in yourselves. It says remind me of those things I says about you. What of Jeremiah was, was in where he was beaten and put in the prison? In Jeremiah chapter 3, 33, read from verse 1 there. He said, I will show you a greater thing. A greater thing that you have not known. Jeremiah was thinking all hope is lost. Beloved brothers and sisters, is it Ezekiah that faced the war? When the angel of the Lord, I mean the, the, the prophet came to meet him that he should prepare his home. That he said, he said but he will be Dying any moment from there. He faced the war. All these are examples for which to emulate. I began to use it to, to fire heaven. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus made a parable in the book of Matthew 18 or so. That a woman was disturbing heaven. Hallelujah. Through a judge. It was a parable. The son was being in prison. This woman started disturbing the judge every time, knocking at his window. Then the judge now said, if at all, I don't have fear for God. I have to try to settle this woman issue. You know, keep on saying it in the city of Ephesus. They continue to proclaim the word of God. The Bible says so mightily through the word of God. If you are a child of God, don't live your life as the, the, the principles of God. Use the principles of God to always live your individual lives. 
and, and face evil. Hallelujah. Amen. We have another one like Hannah who cried unto the Lord in her agony. The Bible says, God remember her in the book of First Samuel, chapter 1, verse 11. Beloved brothers and sisters of the Lord, can you be exempted? If really you are a child of God, if really you serve God in spirit and in truth, God can never forget those who, who are for him. Except your character does not match to that of the principles of God. If you like, you speak in tongues. And another thing that is killing us, we don't have love. We don't have love. The Bible says that in the book of uh, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, and it says, he said that uh, you should not be weary in doing good. In due season, God will use it to remember you. When you are doing good, when you don't touch your hand, you are always giving out. So in due season, use those good you are doing. Use it to challenge God in prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. You will know that that good you are doing is not to show up for. You do it in love. You use the love of God to do that good. You don't just say you want to do it, let people for, for, for showing off. Because the Bible describes some people when they are giving, they show off. They want people to know that they are giving. That is not what we are saying. With agape love, somebody that is, that is in need, you do good for that person. Use it to pray to God in prayer. God will come to your rescue. I don't know what you are passing through as so I initially said. Some people have emotional issues, marital issues, head old, you know, psychological issues, financial issues, church issues. There are many things we are doing today in the house of God. We are not remembered. Do you think God has forgotten you? For that chair you contributed in that church. Hallelujah. For, I don't know, is it a music department? You contributed money or you helped that widow in that church or outside the church because every man born of a woman. We are all children of God. Jesus says in the book of Matthew 25, when you read from verses 1 down there, you see all these things there. He said, when I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was thirsty, you did not give me water. Then they now ask him, where did we see you? And we didn't give you water or food. He said, as far as you did not do it to her, among people you are seen on your church or your wayside, not only your family, he said, you also hurt me. Let us know all these things. That is why it's very important for we to study the word of God. The word of God is always yea and amen. When you stick to that word, beloved, you will always come out with a testimony. Amen. I want to take you to another scripture in the book of Esther chapter 6 verse 1. The Bible says in the book of Esther, God honored Mordecai. Hallelujah. When it was time for God to reward Mordecai for what he did, God poured fire in the heart of the king. And the king was now troubled. Somebody who helped the king spare his life for him not to be killed by the people that was at the gate they were conspiring against the king. It was Mordecai that rescued the king. By that very time, it was as if king, that very time the king did not remember Mordecai. But when it came to the appropriate time, Mordecai was remembered for his good deed. You are not going to be left behind. If at all, no one remembered you. Face the world like Ezekiel did. Cry to God. People want to kill you for your good. We have done like me. We have done for family. They did not appreciate, like one of my sister, when no matter how much we used to help her, she would say, what did you do? The, the money is for God, though. It's not for you. God that owes the money did not nag, nag you. Not to talk of you that they give the money to, to her. My own biological sister. So are you going to be left behind? Some people have received such rubbish statements from friends, well wishers, from the church. You are not doing it because of human being. You are doing it because this is what God said you should do. He is the one who is rewarding those that are doing good for people. What will people do for you? Even when people, when you did good for them, they reward you with good. They will still use it to, 
you know, nagging, telling people. So it's better they don't even reward you for your good. Let God Almighty pay you back for all those things. So I'm here to encourage you. Whatever you are passing through, the mess, the agony, the desolation, pray to God, seek the face of God. Put God first in everything you are doing, beloved. I'm here to use this word of God to remind you again as a child of God. So weeping, so nagging, so having all this uh, agony. Call on the God of Elijah. Call on the God of Hannah. Call on the God of Sarah. I always use Jabez in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4. Beloved brothers and sisters in law. Jabez means sorrow. He called on the God of heaven. And God remembered him. God enlarged his coast. Amen. You are not going to be left behind, beloved brothers and sisters. Be still and know that I am God. Amen. I don't know what you are passing through. The Bible, Pastor Chris said, keep on saying it. Don't stop talking it. Continue to dissolve heaven. And Jesus gave a parable. Amen. Whatever we are doing in due season, we will reap all these good things. As a child of God, God can never forget you. Hezekiah cried out to God, face the wall. Hannah cried to God. Amen. Esther, Mordecai, and the hard mate of Esther, they fasted and the people of Israel, and God heard their cry and answered their prayer. Beloved brothers and sisters, even, uh, I think, Nehemiah cried to God when he received an information that people who have been, you know, being inside, they are all, they are all returning one by one. But the walls of Jerusalem have been broken down. The gates have been born. He cried to God. Then God answered his prayer. You are not going to be left behind. Beloved brothers and sisters in Lord, there are so many people in the Bible that... Even when they said they not cry because of their good, people they did good for, cried to God Almighty. And the servant of God well, was sent to come and, you know, bring them back to life from their death through prayer and supplication. Beloved brothers and sisters, if you are not doing good, start doing good. Be a prayer warrior. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 9, it says whatever you have finally to do, it says do it with a good heart. Don't do it by showing off. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Be still and know that I am God. This is the word of God. The word of God is here. Amen. When you stick to the word, beloved, when you stick to the word, you will always come out with a testimony. The witches and wizards, they don't have a foundation. Just because we are not spiritually at a last, we are being carnally minded every time. We are not using the, 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 the method of God to live our lives. We are not using the word of God to live our daily lives, in our marriages, in our businesses, in our ministries, wherever we find ourselves. Let us begin to ask ourselves, have that curiosity to question ourselves, is this how God said we should react? Is this how God said we should do all these things? Is this the word, is the, the word of God said we should do like this in this area of our individual lives? Let us be knowing all these things. When we have that curiosity, and we will always remember when we fall, Realize we are falling. Then we will stand on our feet again. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm not here to encourage us, to let us know that be seen and know that he's Lord. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want you to rewind this video clip. I don't want to talk too much. I've spoken for 19 minutes now. Hallelujah. I don't want you to be weary. Remember that he's still the same God of yesterday, today and forever. The children of God, they were crying. When they saw that Pharaoh sent his chariot men to pursue them at the edge of the sea, they were at the bend of the sea, they were all crying. Least you, they have forgotten very soon that this is the God that killed all the firstborn of Pharaoh. They are firstborn of, uh, you know, of the, they are their the, the housemates and the firstborn of uh, their animals. The same God killed all of them. That was the reason why Pharaoh said, they have to leave very quickly. And they still see the same Pharaoh magic, magic chariot men. They have forgotten what God had just did for them not quite long. They start murmuring. Then God now asked Moses, who are people murmuring? Have they forgotten so soon? 
So God is waiting for you, according to Isaiah chapter 65. For if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Ezekiah faced the one pray, God answered his prayer. I don't know what you are passing through. Be still and remember that I still God. He says in Matthew 28, I think verse 18, to his disciples, before he ascended to heaven, he said, all power in heaven and earth belong to me. Beloved brothers and sisters, what's your problem? Why are you afraid? They will come in one way, they will flee in seven ways. The word of God is here, amen. Has he said something that he has not accomplished it? Except you are not righteous. Except you are not walking uprightness with God. Except you are not having that great faith. Except you are carrying that spirit of John the Baptist when he was in prison, was nagging instead of him to use the word of God to conquer the power and the plans of the enemy to King Herod. Many people were being arrested in the Bible. They praised God, they sang, and the angel of the Lord came to rescue them. Hallelujah, somebody. Can you be left behind? These are human, you might be like you. Let us give it a try and see if God will not come to our rescue. Remember, my name still remember Mrs. Evangelist Egon. Until I call your way next time, I say keep on bouncing the Lord. Please help me to share, help me to like, and as you do, you will continue to see the glory of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Be still, I know that I am God. Hallelujah, Baba, until I come your way again, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, I thank you all for subscribing. Help me to share. Enter my platform. You will see many packages there. Use it to bless your soul. Share for somebody, you know, a post. And they will continue to use it to live their daily lives. The word of God is for correction. The word of God is here in me. Until I call your way next time, I say keep on passing. For in Jesus' almighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Shalom.